Hi everyone, thanks for joining me on another ramble. I hope you're all looking after yourselves and keeping well. Today's walk starts in the small village of Purton, Hertfordshire. And the route I'm doing today has been taken from a Cicerone, or Ciceroni as they say in Italy, guidebook about the Chilterns. Check it out, page 35. I'll leave all the details in the description box below. Right, let's go. I've just spotted a point of interest as I've left the church and there's a big notice board. Pryton, Mott and Bailey Castle, Great Bury, dated 1136, the remains of a medieval village. Ah, check that out. <laughs> so I've got a big mound of earth behind me, so I presume that's where the old castle was. Uh, I'm going to walk up there and see what else there is to, to have a little nosy at. Those views aren't they incredible wow land stretches out for miles as far as the eye can see and it's a clear day too so what is unique to the Chilterns well I tell you it's what's beneath my feet at this very time it's made of chalk stone and when you look down at the ground whether you're up in the hills or walking through agricultural land you will notice the chalky looking uh, presence that is beneath you. Unlike the Peak District which is split into uh, the White Peaks which is mostly limestone and Dark Peaks which is gritstone. In Northamptonshire we have quite a lot of ironstone and sandstone. So in your home county what stone lies beneath your feet? Let me know, put it in the description box. I'm not into you know geology at an academic level or anything but I do find it interesting because ultimately this kind of stone would be quarried probably for centuries by local people and you can see it in the architecture in buildings and you know just generally as you're walking around you can see how it shapes a place yeah rocks are cool right <laughs> Onwards. You might be thinking, why did I choose the Chilterns today to do a walk with all the other lovely counties around me? Well, it's quite a straightforward answer. Between Boxing Day and New Year's Day, where you get that lull, when not a lot really happens, I was tidying up my YouTube channel, trying to make it a little bit easier for people to find um, their way around the different content that I make putting things into playlists so things that are specifically camping things that are specifically reviews or day walks or longer adventures so when people pop onto the channel they can quickly access the stuff they want and I noticed I've never done a video in the Chilterns and I don't know why I have no excuse I feel like I need to make an apology to the Chilterns because it is an area of outstanding natural beauty and I've done loads of walks in the Chilterns including the Ashridge Estate Boundary Trail. I did that in the summer last year. Ivanhoe Beacon, Barton the Clay and the hills not too far from here. Um, Pitstone Hill, that area around Tring. And I've never done a video and I don't know why. Um, I don't record all my walks that I do because I just don't have the time. And sometimes I just like walking for the sake of walking. But I thought, you know what? I owe it to the Chilterns to make a video and I'm sure there'll be more to come in the future in this particular part of the country. Here we are, the Pegston Hills, managed by the Wildlife Trust. So what I'm going to do now is find a particular hill called Deacon Hill, where there is a trig point. Um, I'm really looking forward to taking some nice photos and scenery footage once we get over there. Excellent. I think I'm about halfway around my route today, so that's good. Right, let's crack on with it.
really another good example of the chalk. As you can see, it's quite exposed up here on the hills. Obvious to tell that it is chalkstone, what the Chilterns is renowned for. I have to say, after about an hour and a half walking through slippery, muddy farmland, it's really quite refreshing to be greeted with such beautiful scenery. next destination up there. Fingers crossed I'll find the truth point. meters above sea level. Trig in the bag. Is that a thing? Can we make that a thing? Trig in the bag? Yeah? Maybe? That's Deacon Hill, done and dusted, on the Pegson Hills in the North Chilterns. Another hiking accomplishment. Yeah. I love it. I love it when I get to a summit. Big summits, small summits, they're all good fun, aren't they? <laughs> Ah, uh, and such a nice day too. Good times. Hello you, you are beautiful. quite a steep path and I can see lots of footprints where people have slid and so far today I haven't ended up on my backside but there's still time don't fall don't fall don't fall don't fall don't fall I've just left the little village of Pegston uh, not much there other than a pub called The View it doesn't open until noon I was very tempted to maybe grab a spot of lunch in there but I didn't really want to wait around until it opened um, spoke to a couple of locals who were very friendly, giving me some recommendations for different pubs in the local area, which was uh, greatly received. I have actually got a pack up on me, but I'll make my mind up when I start to get a bit more hungry. And the village I started from this morning isn't called Python or Puritan, which I might have accidentally said earlier. It's pronounced Person. The local lady corrected me earlier. I always get my place names wrong especially if it's somewhere I've never been before. So where I started this morning and where I end today is called Purton, even though it's spelled P-I-R-T-O-N. Go figure that one out. So now I'm just following a little track up to another woodland and a few more hills to clock up and get under my belt. Alpacas! Oh, they're eating a, a Christmas tree. Oh, and look, there's a little pot belly pig. Can you see that as well? Got four alpacas, some chickens, and a little oinker. just seen a black squirrel in the pig's pen near the water butt. Can you see that? Just above that log. 
I have never seen a black squirrel in my life. I didn't even know there was such a thing as a black squirrel. I know grey squirrels, I know red squirrels, but it's completely black. Can you see it on the fence there? In the centre of the screen, near the water button top. Oh, look! Incredible! Alpacas, a pig and a black squirrel. Well, you would have never put all these creatures together, would you? This is a once in a lifetime event. I'm, I, I can't believe it. A black squirrel, look, it's getting closer. Look at its bushy tail. I wonder if it's like a mutant squirrel. Oh my goodness. Can't believe I've seen a black squirrel. I've just done a quick Google and apparently there's a lot of them in the woven area, which is Hertfordshire, Cambridgeshire and the bottom of Bedfordshire. I just, I've never seen one. I've never heard of them. That's really made my day. That is the cherry on the cake. Have you ever seen a black squirrel? Wow, I didn't know they were native to this part of the, the North Chilterns. <laughs> wow, I'm going to be buzzing about that all day now. <laughs> ah, and alpacas and a little noisy pig. Wow, such fun. Oh. That's me done and dusted on another ramble. Um, I really enjoyed walking in the North Chilterns today. I'll definitely be making more videos on this part of the country because it is so beautiful. And yeah, there's just so much to see. It's very different from other places that I walk, but I like that. Variety is the spice of life after all. Right, I'm gonna disappear off now and I'll see you all soon on another adventure. Take care, look after yourselves. Rock up and ramble. Bye-bye.